Well, hello, everybody. My name is Christopher Van with the National Service here in Slido, Louisiana, and here is your weekly weather briefing for Sunday, April 18th. So real quick, here's a situational review. As we look back at last week, it was not a fun week with uh, quite the active weather pattern we were in. Multiple rounds of heavy rain and a little bit of severe weather, which led to quite a bit of rainfall over the area, along with some scattered uh, severe weather reports along mainly coastal areas of Louisiana. And then we also had some strong gradient winds associated with a wake low on Tuesday across a good bit of southeast Louisiana, along with some minor impacts over coastal Mississippi. However, this week is looking much quieter. We do have a cold front that comes through on Wednesday, and that should bring much cooler air, especially for late April. And the pattern looks pretty dry throughout the week. However, moisture may start to return Friday with rain possibly again next weekend. Um, all of our rivers are up right now due to the heavy rain we've seen. However, most are falling. And then uh, real quick at how much rain we have seen so far for April and how far above normal we are. So a real quick look at all of our watches and warnings across the region. As you can see, the only thing we have impacting our area are the elevated rivers. Again, uh, we'll take a little bit deeper look at that shortly, but most of those are coming down and no other impacts are in play. So a real quick look at those rivers again. As you can see, these are the points right now that are either in flood or forecast of flood. However, we're not forecasting any more rivers to go into flood, and most of these rivers are falling. The only one that really is not falling is the Pearl River, which does have the greatest impact in our region right now, with the Mississippi River being mainly a shipping and commercial issue and not as big a threat to the public. And speaking of the Pearl River, here is Pearl River at Bogalusa and Pearl River at Pearl River. As you can see, both are getting close to the crest height. It looks like Bogalusa may be pretty close to crest, especially on Monday evening, whereas it looks like it's going to be kind of early Wednesday when the Pearl River does crest. And it will look to crest into that major flood stage, but uh, will begin to slowly come down later this week. So here's a quick look at our forecast coming this week. High pressure is going to dominate the region throughout much of the week. However, there will be a cold front that kind of comes down to our area. Looks like early Wednesday. And you'll see it in the next few slides here. That cold front's going to bring rather chilly temperatures for mid, late April. And its cold front slides into the Gulf of Mexico during the day in early evening Wednesday with high pressure driving down into the Gulf Coast area Thursday, providing a very cold morning Thursday morning. But that high pressure is going to quickly push off to the east with moisture returning Friday and possibility of showers and thunderstorms returning uh, maybe late Friday, but probably more so this weekend. And then that front pushes through with high pressure pushing back into the area. As we take a look at our extended forecast, the 6 to 10 day temperature looks like slightly better chances of below normal temperatures with slightly better, chan better chances of above normal rainfall. However, the 8 to 14, it looks like maybe slightly better to near normal chances of near, near normal temperatures and then equal chances of both above and below normal rainfall for that time period. Well, we know last week was wet, but so far the first half of the month has been extremely wet for southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi. As you can see, most of the area through the first 18 days are at least six inches or greater. However, that very large area around the I-10-12 corridor, including New Orleans, are seeing right now 12 inches or greater with many places well over a foot of rainfall. What does that mean to what is normal? Well, for our next graphic right here, this shows the percent of normal that we've seen. The entire area is sitting right around 200% of normal or greater with uh, most of Southeast Louisiana and all of Coast Mississippi in that 300 to 400% of normal. There's even some specs in there that rainfall has been 600% of normal. Now, one of the good things is, is that all of this rainfall has occurred over kind of a large time span. Uh, we've had nine measurable rainfall days at uh, Slidell, Louisiana. And the good thing about, thing about that is that we're not getting that one day of 10, 12 inches that can lead to significant flash flooding and extreme rises on the rivers. It's been spaced out over a good time frame, which has allowed the rivers to kind of come down and drain a little bit. So Luckily for that, we've had a lot of rain, but it's been spaced out just enough to keep us from seeing significant impacts. So that's pretty much it for the uh, forecast right now. Again, the week looks much quieter. Dry weather through most of the week with that cold front on Wednesday and bringing chilly air for late April, Wednesday night into Thursday, and then maybe start seeing showers and thunderstorms return next weekend. All the rivers are up, but most are starting to fall. 
Thank you for joining us, everybody. Hope this video was provided some good information for you for the forecast this week. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up or follow us on any of our social media platforms. Uh, thanks again and have a great week.